guys, welcome to day number 11 for the pre-op diet. I am using my cell phone right now because my camera battery is dead and I didn't realize that I had to charge it, completely forgot, so I'm using my cell phone right now. Um, today I'm going to talk about dun, 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 constipation. I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid to take a stand. Oh my gosh. Okay, so too much protein in your diet can cause constipation. I knew this before the pre-op diet. I thought nothing of it. I'm like, eh, I'll just add some fiber jellies. I'll be fine. No. As of yesterday, this is a little bit of TMI. I'll put a warning at the beginning of the video. But as of yesterday, last night, it was like hard as rock and I was in so much pain. So I went out to some Facebook groups and I asked and I went and got some after I asked of some ideas, what is the best way to soften the stools? So I went and got some Kool-Ace, 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 I wanna say Kool-Aid, Kool-Ace, it's supposed to soften your stool. You're supposed to take up to one to three a day. I'm gonna um, take one for now and see if that helps. On top of it, I went and got some Benefiber. Um, you gotta be careful about getting some of these fiber powders because some of them have the fake sugars in it. And the fake sugars can cause, if you're post-op, um, dumping syndrome you don't want fake sugar you don't want the you you want if you're going to use any sugar use the all natural organic sugars that have not been processed like stevia for instance um but this didn't have any sugar in it and i did not see anything that said that had the fake sugars usually it'll tell you what kind of sugars there are if it was fake it's gluten free wheat dextrin but it's benefiber it's, um, it dissolves completely, great for cooking. You, it's tasteless, you can put it in anything. You can put it in your muffins, you can put it in your drinks, it's tasteless. So in my protein drinks, I'm adding a tablespoon. The directions say uh, two teaspoons three times a t daily. But since I'm in so much pain and everything's like a rock right now, I put in a tablespoon in my protein drink. So, shaking it up, it says it's tasteless, let's well, have a taste. Can't taste anything but the powder, or the protein powder, good. So I'll make sure I add fiber to everything I eat and drink because this ain't happening again, no way. So I am a little bit hungry today. I know I'm going to be coming on to my three day liquid diet here real, real soon. So I went to the store today and I got a couple of these egg drop soups. You just add uh, two cups of water, two and a half cups of water and one egg and if you want soy sauce, but that's too high in sodium. So I left out the soy sauce because <clears throat> this already has 470 milligrams of sodium. So this is already high in sodium. I don't have a salt problem or a cholesterol problem, never have. Um, I do need to watch my sodium after post-op because things change when your stomach changes. So, and it only has three grams of sugar, 30 calories. Um, it does have wheat, milk, egg, and soy. So I mixed it up. I made my own bowl it's about this big that's a pretty big bowl it's gonna fill me as long um, as I drink this I'll be done for the next couple of days so maybe one a day for lunch with my protein shake and I'm good for a whole day up until my three-day um, liquid diet and in, in that case I do have um, 
sugar-free, crystal light. I've got cherry pomegranate. I've got fruit punch. Fruit punch seems too sweet for me, so I always have to put like maybe three quarters of a little packet in. And my favorite is raspberry ice. I've already said that in one of my videos, but oh my gosh, I love raspberry ice. I'll be drinking this. I'll be drinking Gatorade, and I do have chicken broth, but I also have a strainer um, specifically for soups. So I will be taking soups and I'll be straining out all the ingredients except for the juice and just drink the juice. Leave my op options open. You'd all, you do not always have to have just chicken broth. And um, you can get low sodium soups and um, just dump it in through the strainer and I either throw it away or give it to my husband if he wants to eat it. My stats on my weight still fluctuating. I went back up. Um, I am glad that I got down to 209. I'm back up to 212 today. Like I said, I fluctuate all the time. I just don't get it. Um, and I'm doing everything by the book and I'm playing by the rules. Uh, it could just be water weight because it's so hot and I'm retaining water. It's just nasty outside. It's like 104 today. So um, it could be just that and I'm not worried about it right now like I said before and I'll probably say like a hundred more times is that I don't have the sleeve yet so I'm not really worried about my weight fluctuating but it was good to see my weight go down 10 pounds from where I was when I first started so officially I've lost 10 pounds but then kind of regained it back and forth so that's my stats for today. I'm not going to take any measurements until the day uh, before surgery. I'll take measurements again. I did measurements in the beginning and I'll write all my stats down below in the description box. So um, if I forgot anything, I'll just write it in the description. Anyway, so I hope you guys, um, if you uh, are post-op or pre-op, these two things are very considerable to uh, consider and be taking tasteless Benefiber and Colace if you are feeling constipated. Either way, um, it'll I know it'll help me. So I'll let you know in tomorrow's vlog on how it helps and we will see you guys all tomorrow for day number 12. I hope that's not backwards for you. If not, here, there. <laughs> we'll see you guys all tomorrow. Love you guys. Ciao. On day number 12, So, um, um, this will get me through and up until the, up until, um, I need to look on my calendar. Anyway, my, uh, three, I have no idea what Anyway, okay, back to what I was saying. It's not a long video today. Today, number 11, let's, let's see, that's not going to work. Um, 